It's barely been a month since a freshman student walked into the cafeteria of a high school in the state of Washington, then shot five of his fellow classmates, killing three before killing himself. We know lawmakers and school districts often start beefing up security in the aftermath of shootings like that. And in Texas, districts have a choice about who can bring down a shooter. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle discovered one of those choices is someone you and your child will never know is there. Yeah, many Central Texas high schools have school resource officers or SROs, actual police officers who are armed at all times, but that requires manpower and money. A cheaper option, let trained teachers carry their own guns. It's called the Guardian Program, but only two districts in the state do it. Then there is the latest option. It is less than a year old. Existing employees trained as undercover school marshals. We traveled to 220 miles west to Abilene to ask the superintendent of the Wiley ISD why his district is considering this option. Everybody in the school business at the same time was looking for options to secure their students and staff. Wiley is one of just six districts in the state to send an employee here. The first 80 hour school marshal academy. I'm very confident. Only Superintendent Joey Light, the police chief, and the director of DPS know who that person is. In their case, it's a teacher who volunteered, but districts can appoint anyone on campus, maybe a coach or even a janitor. We're in a situation where we're uh, trying to uh, prepare for a very unlikely event and our hope is that it never happens. So is that person carrying or have a weapon at their disposal right now? At this time that person is not carrying a weapon. That's because the school board is still contemplating what to do. They're not completely sold on the Marshall Plan because the teacher can't reach for his gun at all times. When he's in class with kids, it's got to be locked up. Due to the restrictive nature of the Marshall Plan, uh, that it, it does need a little tweaking. Think about what you have. State Representative Jason Villalba authored the school marshal legislation last session, right after a shooter killed 26 people at Sandy Hook Elementary in Connecticut. I was never comfortable having uh, the firearm on the person of the marshal. But he does anticipate the topic will be up for discussion during next year's legislative session. One solution, adding more flexibility to the law, letting districts decide if they want their marshal to carry a gun 24-7. But teachers packing heat still gets Linda Bridges fired up. She's the president of the Texas American Federation of Teachers and testified against the bill. We believe the role of teachers is to teach. The role of law enforcement is to protect. We are barely a year into the Marshall program. Wiley ISD is waiting until the spring to decide if their trained marshal will carry on campus. And so far statewide, he's one of only seven people who've been through the training. There is another academy next month with 20 spots. And right now we're told about 11 people have shown interest. Mm -hmm. And Aaron, you said a school marshal's identity is a secret, but can parents at least find out if there's one at their child's school? Yeah, does the state have a list of the schools or campuses who are doing this? Well, there's actually a legal battle in the works right now. The uh, Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, also called TCOL, actually got a public information request for the list. They denied it and asked for a ruling by the Attorney General. The AG said hand over the list, but now TCOL is suing the AG to keep that list a secret. However, the lawmaker that we talked to in our story says parents there is nothing stopping you from flat out asking your child's school if they've got a marshal but it's up to them if they want to tell you.